I use fountain pens every time I do urban sketching, so in this video I'm going to break down how they work for me. Hello you guys, welcome back to my Chanel and in this video we're going to talk about fountain pens. So these, these seemingly ancient inventions not that old really, but definitely outdated for today's day and age, is what I use to sketch predominantly outside. Well, not predominantly, this is all I use whenever I use a pen. So fountain pens, they have a chamber to fill in your ink, and this is called a converter because I can use it multiple times and I can theoretically kind of inject in, in some ink in and out, depending on the direction I pull it in. And they come in all different various nibs, sizes, pens, makers, brands, and whatnot. And the reason I use fountain pens instead of a regular pen is, first I was really enticed by the world of fountain pens. I just really thought that I love writing, um, I love journaling. So I just really thought that this was something that I have a strong affinity for, or I'm likely to have a affinity for. And next is when I just fell into the rabbit hole, I just, I just felt really deep in guys like there was no saving me from that point and you know I started out with one I started out with a Lamy Safari not exactly this one but the same model and then I just branched out and I do have a collection of fountain pens but we'll save that for another video in this video we want to focus on fountain pens for urban sketching the most important thing for me to look for in a fountain pen to use for urban sketching is actually not this but it's this. This is an ink bottle. And this is a waterproof ink. So this is called the Atramentis. I believe that this is one of the more popular inks that are used for fountain pen sketching. And the reason for that is because these inks, because of the document properties, they're actually waterproof. Now I do have a few inks in my collection. Um, also, don't ask me why I do that. I just like to collect things, apparently. So I have a black blue. I think it's discontinued, so I don't know why I'm showing it. And then I also have, they usually come in a very protective wrapper like this. This is obviously one I haven't used before. So I guess you guys are getting a bonus unboxing too. This is a white document ink and from what I know, uh, this is probably one of the most popular and most opaque white sketch inks, but I haven't used it yet because I have not started sketching on a dark tone paper. And lastly, a color that I have for some reason. Oh, actually I know why. It's because I was inspired by Liz Steele and she uses like different colored inks. And because of that, I thought I would copy her by having a colored ink, which I still have not touched. Ooh, look at that color. Maybe I should use it. So this is all the Diatramentis document ink bottles that I have. I'm going to show you something in a bit. I just wanted to show you that these inks come in a bottle of 45 milliliters. You need to shake it really well before using it. And let's open it up. You can see that I've used a little bit of it only. And I sketch pretty regularly. So it does take some time to go through the full bottle of ink. So if this thing is 45 milliliters, from what I know, a Kaweco Sport hosts probably just like 0.7 milliliters of ink. It's very tiny. But these are the fountain pen inks that I use. Well, the brand that I use. This one being the main character and everything. All right, now, now let's pack these things up. Cause I don't think I'm gonna use these inks today. A surefire way to test out ink is through these. These are some ink samples and these come from the Goulet Pen Company, which if I pick it up, you can see clearly it's the Goulet Pen Company. 
and they sell ink samples in these two milliliter chambers sort of these tiny ink sample bottles and these are all the colors that are in the Diatramentis document line. I purchased this because I wanted to try out all the different colors and there are some that I really like. So this was one of my favorites. It's called Urban Gray. And then I also had another favorite called Urban Sienna. But sadly what happened was my fountain pen dried out. So I wasn't able to use these colors a lot or have a lot of sketches with these colors, but I'll try and flash some sketches right here and yeah you can see that they all have different properties there's a violet oh this is the orange this is the yellow this is a brown and i do recommend um going to Goulet pens to check out more on these pens because they do have a lot of beginner friendly videos for fountain pens and also inks and that's actually how i got started is i watched a lot of their videos and yeah so these are all the inks that you can have so one sample would be about like two fillings of a fountain pen. If you're using like a regular um, chamber, like the normal ink converter, they don't go beyond 0.7 milliliters usually. So because this is two milliliters, you can get two and a half fillings out of it probably. And you'd be surprised at how long they last you, even though this doesn't look like a lot. All right, let's pack these up and let's move to the pens themselves. Let me bring out my sketchbook. I don't know if this is going to be useful or not, but let's just bring out a blank page just to show off. So, oh my goodness, I left all of these open. This might dry. So, my first pen, the Kaweco Sport, which you've seen a lot. So this is a really, really tiny pen. I can probably measure it right now. It is 10 centimeters unposted. Post it with the cap. It is 13 and a half centimeters. And when closed, so this is a screw cap it is 10 and a half centimeters so it's a really short pen and i really like it because i do have kind of small hands so this fits really well in the nook of my hand and this is a fine nib so fountain pens do have various thickness and the beauty about fountain pens is you can kind of have it one way and then you can reverse you can write in a much thinner line and some pens allow you to be thicker so if you do this versus this there's a slight difference but not too much but you do get a little bit of line variation with um, a fountain pen not so much with a ballpoint and i did start off actually with the lamy safari so this is the most basic staple model of the lamy the one that most people start out with it's a very entry-level pen this is the converter so you just dip your pen inside a pen bottle you fill it up with ink until it goes all the way to the top and then you put it back in you see this little nubbin that goes into this little hole you just hook it in right there close the body of the pen this is a fine nib so i do have a preference for my nib size and this is a cap this is a snap cap so this is slightly bigger than the kaweco sport this pen is about 14 centimeters when it's closed it's about 12.8 unposted and it's slightly longer when it's posted. It's uh, beyond 15 centimeters. And it does have a bit of a back weight because of the pen. It's made of ABS plastic. It's basically indestructible. Oh, this is 16 and a half centimeters. I also used to throw this around in my bag. And I think there's a little bit of a scratch right here, but that's basically it. Even after sort of throwing it around everywhere, you, there's no visible scars. Another pen that's always in my arsenal it's this, it's called the Sailor Fude de Manen pen. And the beautiful thing about this is its nib. So it does come only in one nib size, but it is bent. And the reason for that is, I believe this is a 55 degree tilt. And because it's bent, you can get various line widths. You can do this honking stroke down like that. You can do a super thin one, or you can do a sort of a medium stroke, depending on which angle you go for. So the, the more you tilt it, the more honking strokes it becomes. And that is the variance of this Fude de Mane pen. It also comes with a converter. Well, I had to buy this separately and I'm using the same ink for both the Sailor and the Kaweco is the, the Atramentis Document Black. And the great thing about this pen is it has this little nubbin right here so that if you put it on, 
it doesn't like roll off because there's a natural stop to it but it doesn't post well like it's very like flimsy i wouldn't post this pen the pen is about 15 centimeters without the cap slightly longer it's quite a long pen actually 17 centimeters when closed and actually if you use cartridges this pen can fit in two so that is the beauty of it there is another pen i believe this is a different curvature um, but you can see it still has the same angle but it's bent differently actually let me just compare it side by side so if you see the green one has a more steep angle and the black one is more subtle so i believe the black one or this navy blue one is about 40 degrees and this is about 55 degrees bent now generally i do love my pens black to match the ink and the only reason why i didn't do that for the green one is because i wanted that 55 degree extreme tilt okay so the reason why i said um, normally that ink converters are 0.7 milliliter is you can have something like this it's a twisby and it's got like a honk in space for a converter so this whole thing is actually the ink chamber and you can feel it all the way this is a twisby iris vac 700 so it's a vacuum filler and what you do if you want to fill in ink you open it up like this you dip it in and then you just and all the ink will come flowing in it's a it's a really great experience and this one i got in a medium so this is a slightly broader nib and this is one of my most favorite pens and i use twisby actually for my journaling all the time and that's about it really all right that's about it really for um, fountain pens for urban sketching let me know if you've got any questions and i'll try my best to address them but in the meantime do check out Goulet pens they are a really great resource when it comes to anything fountain pens they have a lot of videos up on their channel that you can kind of peruse thank you so much for staying tuned to this video as always if you like more of this content please stay tuned because we got more of them coming for you as always, I've been Becky, you've been awesome, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye! Oh. Thank you. Got a new package that just arrived. Let me see if I can show you.